So unfortunately, we didn't get that much footage of driving in Paris. My satellite navigation took me down a lot of bus routes, wrong way systems, um, and it was a complete nightmare. The traffic was a disaster. And the car has been parked up all night in this uh, underground car park. So um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to let you guys hear the car and for you to get a good idea of how loud the car is once it's on cold start, because it's loud. nerve-wracking I have ever been in my life. My car starting up started to smoke as I was pulling out of the um, underground car park. I'm very nervous. This is not, not normal. I just pray that I can get back to the UK. My car stinks. I pray that I can get back to the UK and get this checked out. I'm in the centre of Paris, right by the Moulin Rouge, and everyone's staring at me. My car is smoking. I'm gonna have to. My car is smoking. I'm gonna have to go. My car's smoking. I really don't know what to do. In the middle of Paris. Broken down. What a way to end. I really don't know what to do. This is the worst thing in the world. Just the worst thing in the world. So we're sat still in the center of Paris. I'm stuck in my car, people are looking. Uh, I've just been told by the police I had to move my car and I've had to explain that the car is broken and this traffic is standstill. The metro in the centre of Paris are having a strike, which means everyone's on in cars. There's no, you can't get out of Paris. We've just been on the phone to a few breakdown people, and I've also been on the phone to SB Race Engineering, and I am now pumping the clutch because it's more likely, or more. I don't even know what the word to say is, but it's more probable that it's a clutch leak rather than an actual clutch, which is just the most annoying thing. And I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just trying to bleed, I think it's the air out, but everyone's staring. This is the worst place possible to break down or to have a problem with the car, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna overly excessively pump the clutch and hope that the car works. Absolute gridlock, I've moved about five feet and the clutch seems to be working a little bit better. But let's check this out. Minnie's going down the bus lane, I just, don't want to try anything illegal in France because I can't speak very good French and trying to explain my problem to do with the clutch to the police and why I have to use the bus lane isn't going to work. I don't I'm now I'm trying to do a U-turn on the zebra crossing, which now my light's gone red. So I'm stuck on a zebra crossing in, in England. I think that's a fine. I hope I don't get fined in France. Yes. Managed to do the U-turn. Please proceed to the show. And now I'm stuck in traffic going the other way. 
I thought London was bad to drive in. My car's working fine now. Um, but I'm just so nervous. This is going to be the worst video. This is going to be the worst video on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. But I'm filming it because that's the whole idea of living with a supercar. It's a nightmare. There is no feeling in the world that compares to seeing your Audi R8 start smoking. So I started the car up and because it was cold it was like I don't really know the technical terms or anything like that, but it really struggled to even keep an idle. And then when I put it in gear, listen to this, I put it in gear, I put it into reverse gear, my handbrake was on, my clutch was down, the car started to move, which is what you probably saw before I cut, because I started to get scared. And then after that, the, cl the clutch started to smoke and the car just turned itself off and I couldn't turn it back on. And I was with my uncle in on the bottom floor of an underground car park, which is where I was filming to begin with um, before this all went terribly wrong. So I was on the bottom floor of a Parisian uh, underground car park. You try and get a breakdown van down there, no chance. They probably would have had to be left to rot the bottom but the clutch isn't slipping the clutch is absolutely fine now but I'll tell you what that was the scariest scariest moment I've ever had with this car and I've had this car sideways when it's not meant to be <laughs> another update while I'm still sat in the same traffic jam as, as I was 10 seconds ago my sat the sat nav in the Audi I will sing its praises on the engine on the fuel consumption on the sound system the everything but the sat nav. I don't know who made the sat nav, but it's t it takes. I, I Google mapped the route back, and it and I know the route to an extent. All I know is I'm not supposed to turn right where this sat nav is telling me to turn right. And on the way in, it was taking us down bus lanes, which were not permittable for cars. Oh, the road it's telling us to go down, let's check this out. So it's telling us to turn right at this one. It's a dead, it's no entry sign, but it's telling me to go down it. So trying to navigate through Paris with no signal on my phone. Now, turn right. Thanks to Orange, EE. Thank you. And now Audi satellite navigation. Turn right, no. So no entry road. On the way in, we were driving down bus lanes, we were going down wrong way systems. Luckily, the police didn't stop us, but it was um, nerve wracking to say the least, which is why we didn't film it. And now, probably an even more nerve wracking situation, and I don't have my co-driver with me, because I'm driving back by myself, boring. And I've, and Somehow I've got to navigate out of Paris. We are nearly out of Paris. I say nearly, we've gone about 400 meters since the last time I checked in on the video blog and we've gone up about 15 minutes. Not fuel consumption, minutes this time, which is rubbish. I'm about an hour late for my train now as well because of this whole fiasco. But I'll get there in the end, this car will get there. It served me well for Gumball 3000 up until the point it started to smoke. Twenty minutes later. Same traffic, just a different part of Paris. Now London is a lot easier. Here we go, here we go. I just want a motorway. That's all I want, a motorway. 25 minutes later from start, I think we found a motorway. So, um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I honestly don't know where this sat nav has taken us. I've seen signs for motorways, but I'm following the sat nav when I don't think I should, but I don't trust my sign reading capabilities in France either. But 
I just don't know. I know I'm heading north, that's all I know, and it's telling me that I'm gonna be 20 minutes late for my channel tunnel. But, absolute nightmare. I'm beginning to lose patience now with this sat nav. It's so bad. Maybe it's built for the UK, but it is so bad in France that. But. It's, it doesn't tell you where you need to go, and the roundabouts are so poor. I almost think the sat nav is as bad as my clutch. I think it's worse than my clutch. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've been driving for about an hour. I've been driving for about an hour and haven't I've seen signs for motorways but I haven't I haven't gone on them because I've been following the uh, the sat nav which I'm not sure is the best way of doing it. I'm going through the tiniest towns that look like this. Be completely honest, the R8 doesn't fit in here. It, even worse with speed bumps. So here we go, here's just what happened. I pulled over. Oh my god. I recalculated the route. The Satnav had given me the fastest route to Calais. It told me to turn onto the motorway and then turn immediately off. So I was a bit confused because I saw signs for Calais and I didn't trust the Satnav anymore. Now I'm on the motorway on the A16 and it has just, my estimated time of arrival has just gone down by an hour. No idea what drugs the Satnav was on before or how it sorted itself out, but that is, I've never turned my sat nav on before Gumball 3000. All it's done is ruin the journey. Ruin the journey every single time. I do not understand it and it's just, it's made this journey an absolute nightmare, but at least I'm on the motorway now and it's plain sailing. It's telling me that I'm gonna get to um, my train on time, which I wasn't expecting to do. Um, so let's just hope I don't have to fill up, because if I have to fill up then it'll just be a bit of a, yeah bit of an inconvenience let's put it that way but to be fair this whole trip has been an inconvenience Paris to London so far the clutch smoking probably the most inconvenient part of the whole trip the traffic because of the strike on the metro another inconvenience and that's my phone ringing. guys final check-in before I reach Calais I'm, it says that I'm 26 miles away it's quarter to 11 so five minutes before my train departs, I'm not gonna make that train, but I made some pretty decent time, uh, put some fuel in as well, so hopefully I won't have to refuel in London, I mean in England at all. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and this insight into living with a supercar. I haven't particularly enjoyed filming it. It's been um, stressful. It's been a lot of emotions actually. Um, quite a difficult one. But I'm glad that I filmed it because you guys get to see like the whole insight into it. I mean, if I had just tweeted it to tell you that my engine had been smoking and my clutch was stinking, then it's not the same as actually seeing it on a video. Which is why YouTube's so awesome. Awesome that you get to see my misfortune. Some food, and then hit London, and then hit my bed. <laughs> So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the whole series of me doing Gumball 3000. Wow, it's dark now, really dark. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Gumball 3000 videos, the whole series of, um, of following the Gumball 3000 and joining in as well. It wasn't just following, I was part of a support crew, the media support crew for Gumball 3000. Um, I'm super excited about next year. Let's hope that I get invited back. Um, and so keep watching these videos and prove that I'm doing a good job. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Why does my phone always ring? Turn it on silent. I'll see you guys.
guys very, very soon for some more epic content coming soon. I'll explain my rap. Um, I'll be talking about more stuff to do with my car and also be heading into London because it's summer. So um, lots to come. Cheers, guys.